This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is on atmospheric science. It's going to look at the environmental lapse rate. So what that is inside the atmosphere, how it pertains to adiabatic lapse rates, how it looks at weather and cloud formation with water vapor and turn that into saturated air, which is water, and looking at how this connects up to atmospheric stability. So within our atmosphere, within our first layer of the atmosphere, the troposphere that goes from the surface up to around 7 to 20 kilometers altitude. Now it depends. If you're on the equator, it's more towards a 20 kilometer mark. And if you're close to the poles, then it's more towards the 7 to 10 kilometer range. So this layer is what we refer to as the environment, as this part of the environmental lapse rate. So the environment is the troposphere. Now, why are we looking at this? Well, we're looking at this when the air is rising. The air rises up to high altitudes. What's going to happen to it? So this is to do with a low pressure system, a cyclone of depression, where the air is being lifted either naturally or being forced to lift. Now, what's going to happen to that air and how fast it's going to change? That's the lapse rate. So lapse is the difference or change in whatever. In this case, it's temperature. And the rate would be the speed or velocity. So how fast does the air change temperature when we increase in altitude, so when we go higher up in the atmosphere. And this is the environmental lapse rate. So looking at the speed at which it cools down, so this is also to do with adiabatic cooling, which is the change of temperature through the difference in pressure. And this change has no additional heat added or taken away, it's just the change of pressure which creates the difference in temperature. So as pressure increases, so does the temperature. As pressure decreases, which is cooling, gets higher, pressure decreases, you will get the air temperature also decreasing. This is called adiabatic cooling. So we discussed the lapse rate, we discussed adiabatic cooling naturally. So if we look at our troposphere, and I've done a graph here on the right hand side, which is looking at an altitude of the surface up to one kilometer or one kilometer or a thousand meters. Now the ELR is the abbreviation for the lapse rate and I looked at the bottom x-axis which is temperature. So I've put in there that this black line is representing the environmental lapse rate and how it shows that as you increase in altitude the temperature is going to decrease as shown by the graph. So it starts at 20 at the surface and goes down to 15 degrees Celsius at one kilometer altitude. So it has an elapsed rate of five degrees Celsius per kilometer. So we assume that if it stays the same, that two kilometers temperature would be 10 degrees or three kilometers, it would be five degrees. So it would go down at a consistent rate. And this is the lapse rate. This is the environmental lapse rate of how fast the air is going to cool down. And now why is this important? Or we can link this to the atmospheric stability and whether a dry or saturated atmosphere would either rise up or become stable or unstable and therefore would be warmer or colder than the ELR or even the same which would be a neutral environment. This pertains to cloud formation, the dew point, a lifting condensation level, how high the clouds are, if clouds form and if there is vertical movement within, within the atmosphere or even a temperature inversion within the atmosphere, which can lead to other types of clouds, like more vertical clouds, like cumulonimbus and thunderstorm clouds. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.